डेम सैंड्रा प्रोनेला मेसन जी सी एम जी डा क्यू सी इज द एथ एंड ड्यू फाइनल गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ बाबेडोस सिंस ट्वेंटी एटीन एंड द प्रेसिडेंट इलेक्ट ऑफ बाबेडोस ड्यू टू टेक ऑफिस ऑन द थर्टी एथ ऑफ नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वेन द कंट्री विल अबॉलिश इट्स मॉनिकी एंड बिकम अ रिपब्लिक शी वॉज अ प्रैक्टिसिंग अटर्नी एट लॉ हू हैज सर्व एज अ हाई कॉर्ट जज इन सेंट लूशर एंड अ कॉर्ट ऑफ अपील जज इन बाबेडोस शी वॉज द फर्स्ट वुमन एडमिटेड टू द बा इन बाबेडोस She served as chair of the CARICOM Commission to evaluate regional integration. Was the first magistrate appointed as an ambassador from Barbados and was the first woman to serve on the Barbados Court of Appeals. She was the first Bajan appointee to the Commonwealth Secretariat Arbitral Tribunal. Mason has been called one of the 10 most powerful women in Barbados. In 2017, she was appointed as the 8th Governor General of Barbados. with a term beginning on the 8th of january 2018 simultaneously with her appointment mason was awarded the dame grand cross in the order of saint michael and saint george on assumption of the office of governor general dame sandra mason became the chancellor of the order of national heroes order of barbados and the order of freedom sandra prunella mason was born on the 17th of january 1949 in saint philip Barbados after completion of her education she began teaching at the princess margaret secondary school in 1968 the following year she went to work at barclays bank as a clerk mason enrolled in the university of the west indies at cave hill earning her bachelor of laws mason was one of the first graduates of the faculty of law from uwi cave hill completing her education in 1973 She was admitted to the bar to begin her practice on the 10th of November 1975 becoming the first woman member of the Barbados Bar Association She is a seroptimist and patron of SI Barbados beginning in 1975 she worked in trust administration for Barclays and transferred to several different posts within the Barclays company until 1977 in 1978 Mason began working as the magistrate of the Juvenile and Family Court and simultaneously tutoring in family law at UWI. She stopped tutoring in 1983 and continuing as magistrate. In 1988, Mason completed the Royal Institute of Public Administration in London's course on judicial administration. She served on the UN Committee on the Rights of the Child from its 1991 inception until 1999. holding the vice chair from 1993 to 1995 and chair from 1997 to 1999 between 1991 and 1992 she served as chair and was one of the two women appointed to the 13 member CARICOM commission charged with evaluating regional integration Mason left the family court in 1992 to serve as an ambassador to Venezuela and was the first woman magistrate from Barbados to serve in that position upon her return to Barbados in 1994 she was appointed as chief magistrate for Barbados and then in 1997 became the registrar of the supreme court in 2000 mason completed studies on alternative dispute resolution at the university of windsor in windsor ontario canada and then completed a fellowship with the commonwealth judicial education institute in halifax Nova Scotia in 2001 as well as a course in advanced dispute resolution at UWI she continued to serve as registrar of the supreme court until 2005 when she was appointed as queen's counsel to the inner bar of barbados in 2008 mason was sworn in as an appeals judge becoming the first woman to serve on the barbados court of appeals for 3 days in 2012 She became the acting governor general of Barbados and the following year was the first Barbadian appointed to membership in the Commonwealth Secretariat Arbitral Tribunal. The tribunal operates among members of the Commonwealth of Nations to resolve issues concerning contract disputes. With that appointment, Luke News named her one of the 10 most powerful women in Barbados. In 2017, Mason was appointed as the 8th governor general of Barbados. with a term beginning on the 8th of January 
Simultaneously with her appointment, Mason was also appointed a Dame Grand Cross in the Order of St. Michael and St. George. In 2020, Mason in her official capacity announcing government policy in the throne speech, written by the government of Prime Minister Mia Motley, stated that Barbados would become a republic, removing Queen Elizabeth II as head of state. She was then expected to be nominated as a candidate to be the first president of Barbados and to be elected by the two houses of parliament and assume office on 30 November 2021. On 12 October 2021, Mason received a joint nomination from the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition as a candidate to become the first President of Barbados, and was subsequently elected on 20 October. Mason will take office on 30 November 2021.